So you've heard of ASD, right? As in the heart condition, atrial spittle defect. No, as in autism. Autistic spectrum disorder to be precise. Yes, of course. What about it? I heard that there's this guy in Cambridge who says it's an extreme male brain condition. Oh yes, I've heard of him. His name is Simon Baron Cohen. He's done a lot of research into autism. I learned about it on my psychology course. He says that men and women have different brains and that autistic brains are always an exaggeration of the male ones. So on a continuum, it goes female to male to autistic. I had to learn four structural differences and three functional ones. For the structural ones, I came up with an M on neck. Wayne easily catches Amy. W. E. C. A. What does it stand for? No, let me guess. Wayne, double year is for weight, with male brains generally being bigger and heavier than female ones. Yes. Easily gives E which is early growth. Boys' brains grow faster than girls' brain when they are very young. C and A are parts of the brain. Okay, let me get those. C must be cortex. No, C is corpus callosum, and it is smaller in males and much smaller in autistic brains. Remember that male brains are lateralized so they don't cross as much information over. Right, C for corpus callosum. The A must be amygdala and this time, it's bigger in males and autistic brains. Okay, so that deals with when easily catches Amy. Now there's the three functional differences. As there's only three, I don't have a mnemonic, but you could always say last bed. Last bed, I reckon that must be like a language, SP for spatial ability and EQ for EQ, or empathizing quotient. Yes, it's the same pattern with autistic brains, having more extreme male skills, such as stronger spatial skills, weaker language skills, and they are extreme systemizers. Remind me. What is systemizing? It's the natural aptitude to analyze and process a situation in a logical way. It leads to things like alphabetizing your CD collection or being very good at working the Sky Plus. Yet that's me. I also got quite a low score on empathizing which I think means I'm not too good at reading the emotions of others and putting myself in their shoes. Oh I got a really high EQ score, as you would expect from a woman. Still yours wasn't rock bottom was it? Autistic people tend to get very low EQ and very high SQ. Yes, that's what that guy said, you know the Baron Cohen guy you mentioned. He wrote the EQSQ survey, I think. Yes, I think it was him too. He's also doing research into whether an overload of testosterone prenatally is correlated with autistic traits in late childhood. I'll have to look it up when I get back. See if it's all been published yet. I suppose it could explain why people with ASD are usually male. 11 to 1 ratio I heard. Yes, tax for the whole spectrum. Ah, well, it's all very interesting, isn't it? Yes, and it was the key issue for the biological approach for my psychology exam. No doubt you got an A grade. Well, of course. All those mnemonics work, you know. Wayne easily catches Amy and Blas Beck. I'll never forget them now. Well, I wished I'd used more of those techniques in my revision. Anyway, this chop ride is nearly over, so thanks for the chat. It was nice to go down memory lane. Maybe see you on the way back and we can cover another key issue. Anorexia maybe, or repressed memories. Bye now.